What's going on, everybody? This morning, I decided to drive up to the awesome flea market in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. They were having a card show going on. Now, we've been to this show a few times before. There's When they first started, they actually had a decent amount of dealers, like 20, 25 tables. As you guys seen from other shows, it's really dropped down. So I sent a message to, uh, I guess it's the wife of the gentleman who runs the show asking how many dealers and tables. The response I get back, we have our regulars, plus some new people coming in. There's some boosts with cards, too. Well, I asked for clarification, never heard anything back. It was a bunch of crickets. Um, so I decided to drive up today because I had to go to the post anyhow and uh, pick up mail and drop off mail. There were three dealers, uh, two of them I knew, and basically I guess a lot of people didn't show up for it or canceled last minute, something like that. But luckily I did find some stuff. Did find some neat stuff. So let's get into it here. Up first, Tops. Um, is it called Paradigm or something like that? Uh, 99, Tony Romo Auto. Got a little three jersey action. He's going for like 60, 70 bucks. Nothing crazy. Up next, Classic World Series matchups. Jackie and Mantle. This has the Mantle jersey piece in it. Uh, I thought this was numbered. It's not numbered. Last sale on this, 160. Let's save that one for last. Okay, next, Nolan Ryan Auto. I believe this was 2004 Fleer EX. Couldn't find any sold. Only one up for sale. Was it 200? There was one like a couple years ago. It did like, it was under 100, but I know there are more now. And then an SP Authentic Chorography. Troy Aikman. Another one of the cards, you know, just they don't sell a lot for his autos. And as you can see, there's a little bit of edge work on to it, and it was uh, all damage on to it. My guess, it's somewhere around like $70, $80, at the most $100. Finally, piece I like the most. This is out of um, Upper Deck. This is the Game Floor Pieces. Kobe, Garnett, and Jordan. Jordan in a Wizards uniform. Don't know if I'll get rid of this one. I've not seen this one before. Hopefully it will focus. I always lose on these focus fights with it. There we go. I don't know if I'll end up getting rid of that or not. I mean, it's not something I'll grade. But really cool piece. Um, Jordan Wizard stuff. Just don't see a whole lot of. I thought this was, nope, not numbered. I thought it was numbered for some reason, but I guess not. But yeah, picked up five cards today, so not a total loss of going up there. Plus, it really wasn't that far of a drive. Next weekend, I will go out to Salem, Indiana for a show. Following weekend at J&J &J All Star, just going as buyer, not setting up. Uh, I think after that, it's pretty much like a break until I set up in November, unless I see something that catches my mind. Now next weekend. There is a uh, big show down in Nashville. I really thought about it. If we would have re reversed how the holiday fell this month, then Nashville would have been over, and I probably would have went to it. But, yeah, I just I don't know if I want to drive to Nashville or not next week. So I think it would just be Salem, Indiana. They're doing a Halloween thing for the kids and all that. So it would be kind of interesting to go out there and look, take a look around. But all right, guys, let me know what you guys think of the pickups there was some football of course i think it was only two football yeah two football one basketball two baseball yeah uh wasn't bad like i said was hoping to be more people up there uh set up but hey you ever complained got up there early hardly anybody in there got to look around some stuff and pretty happy being able to find the jordan piece for the pc all right guys that is it I am out. Catch you next one.